Hey guys, it's Stu. Uh, this is a bit of an unscheduled announcement as well as an update and obviously I put a message for Paul at ISM as well and the guys. <coughs> Excuse me, I'll just clear my throat. Um, as you know, my last announcement, um, I basically inferred that unfortunately I had lost two essential missing parts which is basically the bullet shield for the front MG42 machine gun and obviously the cradle for the rear machine gun, which you see there. Um, and I basically turned the room upside down, couldn't find them anywhere and I lost all hope and basically panicked. Uh, well yeah, you, as you can guess I've been a bit of a twit and basically the damn thing was staring me in the face and it only occurred to me last night when I actually got started on the walk of Bulldog and below and behold, we, you never guess where it was, it was in this little plastic container here which was sitting on one of my boxes with all my stuff. <laughs> Oops, ah, uh, yes, so as you can see the offending parts, which is the gun shield there and the cradle there, are both safe and sound in this little container and I completely forgotten it was in there, so the case of do, double, do to me, uh, <coughs> and ten to the bloody kit, <laughs> oops, uh, anyway, this one I've decided, now that I've started the Walker Bulldog, um, once I've finished it, I am probably going to do this one straight after. In fact, I will get this one done. And it will probably be the last build of the year, possibly, or maybe running into the new year before I start my um, Mike Cohen group build. Uh, which is, the, oh, sorry, Mike Cohen tribute uh, group build. Okay. Um, so that is the state of play on that one so I'm sorry if you're going to have to wait a bit longer guys um, because I know you're pretty interested in following this build but as I say and I know Clem mentioned to me Clem that you, this was your first armour build so that's quite interesting um, but uh, there you go uh, anyway if you're wondering how far I got with it I basically primed the inside black and, and then I've just got to do the base coat on that but as I say I'm going to leave that until I finish the walker bulldog now so sorry guys you're going to have to wait a bit longer okay anyway talking of the walker bulldog uh, I've done a bit more work on her tonight and basically this is how she's looking what I've done is basically attached the barrel to the turret, so it's all partially assembled. Uh, the MG3442 machine gun uh, was being a bit of a bugger tonight. Um, it wouldn't glue, so what I've done is put a tiny bit of cyanacrylite on it, and it's now setting. And the only thing I've got to do is basically add the magazine, which you see there on the illustration, to it. Okay. Um, as I say, I've got to put all the grab handles on there, uh, various uh, accessories including the jerry cans and the whip aerials, and then obviously add the crew figures. Alright, so that's how she's looking. Uh, I have to say she's a smashing little kit. She's both, It's one of the fastest builds I've done. And I should think by the end of the week the actual construction will be finished. And then it's just a case of getting her primed, uh, base coated, um, then cleared, add the decals, put another coat clear, get a wash, get a wash applied, um, mat coater, and obviously I've, what I'm going to do with the tracks, I'm not going to use the ones in the kit, because they're bloody awful. Uh, I am actually going to um, fork out some money and get some aftermarket tracks uh, from the AFV club as well as the ones for the Hanamag as well. Alright, I think it would look more authentic, if you if you ask me. Um, anyway, that's the state of play at the moment, guys, and that's where I'm at with the Walker Bulldog. I haven't done any more work on the R75. Um, I don't know if I'm going to get it finished this year at all. I may do, I don't know. If I get some spare time, then I'll carry on with it. But my main consensus is on the Walker Bulldog at the moment. Uh, I really, really am enjoying this. Uh, it's really firing up my enthusiasm in the hobby. Also, I want to just uh, relay a quick message to Paul at ISM. Uh, Paul, mate, I didn't realise that uh, Sebastian had actually taken over and done a hangout at the last minute. So hence, that's probably why I couldn't find you guys on the hangout last night and join in. 
Um, I'm sorry to see that you've been in such pain in regard to the abscess you've had in your teeth. That is nasty, and I can't begin to think how that must feel. So, mate, I do sympathise with you. Uh, just take it easy. Um, I hope you manage to get it sorted out and that the painkillers are, knock are basically knocking in now and that you're feeling a bit better tonight. All right, mate? Um, so you just take care and get yourself better soon. OK? And as for the rest of the guys on the Hangout, Mike, Curran, Richard, Anthony, Tim, uh, Devon, uh, Jonathan and everybody else, uh, just a quick hi from me. Hope you're all keeping well. And I'll join you guys either later this week or sometime next week. Okay, because it all depends on my work schedule. Because obviously, as I've said in my previous video, I'm coming into the busiest time of year for me. So you'll have to bear with me, guys. Okay. Anyway, all that remains for me to say is happy modelling to everyone. Get kick crazy. And I'll see you on the next video. Bye for now.